Hello everyone, welcome back to Infigyan. Today in this video, we have one very very interesting question from algebra. If x is square root 2 plus square root 3 plus square root 6 is a root of x power 4 plus ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d equal to 0, then we have to evaluate mod of a plus b plus c plus d given that a, b, c, d are integers. So let's get started by writing x equal to square root 2 plus square root 3 plus square root 6. Now we will subtract square root 2 from both the sides. Now we will cancel plus and minus square root 2 from right hand side. So we will get x minus square root 2. This will be equal to square root 3 plus square root 6. Now we are going to take a square both sides. So we will put power 2 in the LHS. So in the RHS. Now we have to use a minus b whole square formula and a plus b whole square formula. So if I will write here a minus plus b whole square then this would be equal to a square plus b square minus plus twice ab. Let's apply to our LHS and RHS. We will get. Let me write equation here x minus square root 2 whole square equal to square root 3 plus square root 6 whole square. So we will get x square plus square root 2 whole square minus 2 times x times square root 2 in the LHS. And in the RHS we will write root 3 square plus square root 6 whole square plus 2 times square root 3 times square root 6. Now square root and square will be over from both the sides. So we will get x square plus 2 minus 2 root 2x in the LHS. In the RHS 3 plus 6 plus 2 times square root of 3 times 6. Now we can write here x square minus 2 root 2 times x plus 2 will be equal to 3 plus 6 is 9 plus 2 times square root of 3 times 6 can be written as 3 times 2. Now this will become 3 square it will come out as 3. So x square minus 2 times square root 2 times x plus 2 equal to 9 plus 2 times 3 times square root 2. Or we can write x square minus 2 root 2 x plus 2 will be equal to 9 plus 6 square root 2. Now we will take this 9 to the LHS and minus 2 root 2x to the RHS. So we can write here x square plus 2 minus 9 in the LHS and 6 root 2 plus 2 root 2 times x in the RHS. Or we can write x square minus 7 will be equal to. We will take root 2 common here. So we can write root 2 is common. In the bracket we will write 6 plus 2x. Now we are going to square once again. As we have to find quartic form. So if I will write our equation here x square 
minus 7 equal to 2x plus 6 times square root 2. Now we have to square once again. So we will put power 2 here and power 2 in the RHS. Again we are going to apply a minus b whole square formula in LHS and a plus b whole square formula in RHS. So I can write here x square whole square plus 7 whole square minus 2 times x square times 7. In RHS root 2 square is 2. In the bracket we will write 2x plus 6 whole square. Now we will use one exponent law a power b whole power c can be written as a power b times c which we will apply here. So we will get x power 4 plus 49 minus 14x square equal to 2 times. Now we will apply a plus b whole square formula here. We will get 4x square. This is 2x whole square plus 6 whole square is 36 plus 2 times 2x times 6. So we can write 24x or we can write x power 4 minus 14x square plus 49 in the LHS. In RHS we will write 8x square. 24 times 2 is 48x and 2 times 36 is 72. Now we will take all the terms to LHS. x power 4 minus 14x square minus 8x square minus 48x plus 49 minus 72 equal to 0 or we will write x power 4 minus 14 minus 8 so minus 22x square then we will write minus 48x 49 minus 72 will be minus 23 equal to 0. Now we are going to compare our quartic equation with the given one and we can write the value of a, b, c, d. Let me write equation here x power 4 minus 22x square minus 48x minus 23 equal to 0. Given equation was x power 4 plus ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d equal to 0. Now we are going to compare coefficients of both the equations. So coefficient of x cube if we are going to compare then we can write a equal to 0. Coefficient of x square if we will compare we will write b equal to negative 22. If we will compare coefficient of x then we can write c will be equal to negative 48. And once we will compare our constant from both the equations we will write d will be negative 23. Now we have to calculate our required expression mod of a plus b plus c plus d will be equal to mod of 0 minus 22 minus 48 minus 23 or we can write equal to mod of minus 93 and mod of minus 93 is plus 93. So our final answer becomes 93. I hope friends you will like this video. 
Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.